Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right down there. There's that little red button in order to get new content and videos. And make sure that you're tuning into my podcast, Soul to Soul Connections with Jenny G. Now, you're also going to get notifications here if you are subscribed to my channel. It's the only way, you guys. I've done some exciting interviews, and there's more excitement coming through with that and a lot more content. So I'm going to talk about this Cosmic Vibes, the 3rd of October till around the 13th of October. Now, this is huge because we are entering into the eclipse season. And are you prepared? Are you prepared? Do you know what's coming up? Do you know how to utilize this energy and work with it? So this is what we're going to talk about. And I'm going to give you my insights into what I am also seeing coming up for you guys. So we're going to go over roughly the day to day, what to expect, how your body can feel, because different days you're going to see and feel that your body can be out of alignment. Why are more different parts of your body more sensitive than the others? And we're also going to talk about master number days and the whole thing. So when you are subscribed to Jenny's channel, you're getting information. So make sure you like my content click the like button. It really helps my channel. And let me know what's going on with you guys. Like, how are you going to utilize this energy of the eclipse? It's very powerful and it's going towards November 14th. So you have this whole entire time to really shape shift your life, really transcend forward and quantum leaps. If you are preparing and working with the eclipse because it's during the season right now that what is not working for you what is out of alignment what you're struggling with it's really really going to show you especially if you're not paying attention to the signs what your soul is bringing up for you what's not working what's out of alignment is it business connections is it a personal relationship is it friendship maybe you're at your job and you're like gee this isn't working for me anymore so this is what's going to be shown to you like whatever it is like whatever it is and it's really important that you guys focus on your health as well during this time so it's like okay spirit how do i change this how do i make this happen just start writing it down because when you're asking that you're sending out a different vibrational frequency to the energy of the universe and the universe is going to be like okay team your angels your guides they're going to be like you know what this person needs help with letting this go this person needs help into making these changes or new beginnings or whatever it is so when you surrender and surrender and pay attention to what's being shown this eclipse will work with you so now reflect back on to october 2005 if you can remember roughly what was going on that time what was beginning what was ending like major themes that was going on during that time. Because what's going to happen is certain events of similarity that was going on during that time, you're going to see certain similar situations coming forth now. Like I know what I was doing back then. And it's kind of interesting because that's kind of exactly what I'm doing now and what I'm gravitating towards and changing and emerging and opening up. So when you're working on that in a positive way, like really reflect back, it's like, okay, what lessons did I learn back then? Like what, and be really honest with yourself, be really honest with yourself. And it's like, okay, because when you see these similar events coming back again, take that pause and really think, you know, I remember that time. And now I'm facing that same kind of similar situation. And this is how I'm going to work with it. Why? Because I learned my lesson back then. And whenever we've gone through something in the past, it gives you that freedom and it gives you that wisdom if you have learned from it. Because if you haven't learned from that, you're going to repeat it. And it's going to be much 
harder during this time. So when you're working with this energy, with the eclipse and getting prepared for it, the energy will work with you. So reflect back also, by the way, to, or to April and May this year. What was going on? Like, what were you guys starting? Like, what were you starting? Was it like a a project? Was it your health? Was it a relationship? Were you moving? Like, what was it? Look back and see where you are now, because you're going to start to see what you were working on then is going to come to fruitation even more now right? What seeds you plant in the springtime, you're seeing in the autumn. What seeds you plant in the autumn, you are now seeing in the spring. So change of seasons, equinox, we have a new moon coming as well this, you know, this week, you guys. So there's a lot of amazing energy for you to work with. So it's a huge transformation for you. You can utilize this. You're going to also be healing and letting go of your emotions. I mean, I'm going to be away. And I might share with you on my next Cosmic Vibes video where I'm at, what I'm doing. It's going to be a big healing for me. It's going to be a big release for me and emotional. So the energies is working with me. And I wasn't even paying attention to certain dates that I booked my flight and accommodations and Bella in with the vets and the facility and such like that. I really wasn't paying attention. And then I'm like, oh, wow, that actually is working with me into divine alignment and divine timing. So really pay attention to your intuition right now. And you're going to see what your triggers are. So really write it down. Like even if you don't know how to work with it, you can always book a reading with me. I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, you name it. Okay. I'll read into your level of consciousness, see where you're at and work with you on that point on and expand to help you take these steps that's necessarily. So now the third, you might find that your shoulders and your arms might be a little more sensitive in your lungs because we're in a huge time, you guys, this planetary energy. So your animals also get affected with this energy too. So when your body is feeling off, like I'm saying, like your arms and lungs and such, so is your animals. So the sixth and the seventh, you might find that your stomach might be a little bit more upset, like your breast area, womb and ovary area might be a little more sensitive. So be gentle on yourself. The eighth and the tenth, it's all about blood in your heart, blood circulation, heart, blood pressure and such. You might be getting triggered around then, like of what's not working for you with this energy with the eclipse. You got, might be, oh my God, how am I going to do that? That's going to be so hard. How am I going to end that? How am I going to start this? Stop over processing and stay in the now. Start writing things down if your mind is going into that monkey mind, because it can go like, oh my gosh, so many different places, right? So the 11th and the 12th, you might find your pancreas area, like your, your intestine and your digestive might be a little off. So you might find that the 11th and the 12th that you might want to eat lightly, like more, you know, like high energy foods. You know, I wouldn't suggest like obsessing over like, you know, like different foods that don't work with your body because you're going to be shown like if you ever paid attention that like if you have a coffee, let's say it might not work with you that day. Or if you have a, you know, whatever meal it is or certain foods, you're going to be like, wow, that I don't know, like it just feels off. Really pay attention to that because even on this new moon in Libra that is coming, that's when it's a day that you're going to want balance. It's a very powerful moon energy. It's going to be emotional. You're going to want to find balance that day. Libra is all about balance and everything. So really work with this energy on the new moon because your sleep is going to be off around the 13th as well. Leave the 13th, 14th, it's still effective and such like that. And you're going to want to even spend more time alone on the 6th and the 7th of October. You're going to be like, wow, what's going on? Why am I getting triggered? You might find that day, the 6th and the 7th, you're going to go through that dark night of the soul 
when we go through that dark night of the soul, it's because we're processing things. We're reflecting. We're doing that soul work within. And gosh, that can be hard, right? However, it's very rewarding whenever you release it and you work with this energy, especially with the eclipse, because it wants to work with you. That's when the Venus retrograde shadow ends. So when you have been working through relationships, especially business, romantic relationships, partnerships, anything connected with people, you're going to see where you are now compared to where you were before in these past few months. So you might be like, wow, that relationship isn't working for me anymore. Oh, goodness. Pay attention. There could be separations. There could be divorces. There could be endings right? Business, jobs, anything connected with that. You might be like, wow, I'm really seeing the reality of what's going on. This isn't working. Or maybe you're going to be like, you know what? We've made some really amazing changes. I'm really now starting to see how I've really connected with my partner. And we've really had that chat and talk. And we've worked through things. Really reflect because you're going to see what lessons you really learned back on that time frame as well. So the fifth and the sixth, really, really pay attention. You're going to see more of your abilities. You're going to see more of your talents of what your soul's direction wants to pull you towards. You know, you could be making headways that day with your career. Really pay attention to that day of what you're passionate about. What what do you really, really connect with in a soul way? This is why on the 6th and the 7th, you're going to be doing more dark night of the soul, that soul reflection and such like that. The 3rd and the 4th, Mercury enters Libra. It's also a master number day. It's a high vibrational day. Really pay attention to that day. There's new opportunities coming in for you. You know, you might all of a sudden get that, wow, I just got that job, or I just got admitted to the class, or I passed my exam, or I'm starting that class, or oh my gosh, my that person contacted me and asked me out, like whatever it is. There's really big new opportunities that day. It's a day of decisions as well. So you might get all of these distractions from all these other people. But you might be like, you know what? I got to really focus on me. I got to start setting some boundaries. I want to focus on myself. And I have to set boundaries all the time. I get messages from people. What do you see? What do you see? You can book a reading with me. You can book a clairvoyant reading with me. Soulworkwithjenny.com. If you want that clarity, if you want to have my insights with what I see for you, right? So it's really important you respect people. So setting boundaries, focus on yourself. I mean, October 10th and the 11th is a huge, powerful day. October 10th is 10-10. What's happening for you that day, you guys? What's happening for you? You very well could find that that's a busy, I'm hearing writing. I'm hearing it's a day of writing for some reason. So for those of you who are writers or want to write a blog or whatever it is, writing, I'm hearing really, really loudly. It's a huge day of projects for you. Very, very creative day. You're going to be creating um, a lot of new beginnings that day. You're going to be connecting with different people, new people, because Pluto's going direct that day as well. Your intuition is going to be a lot stronger. So whenever you're connecting with different people, that can bring on big changes for you. So when you're meeting someone, how do you feel? How does your body feel? Is your body feel like, I don't know, I have this kind of weird vibe or I don't know. It's just kind of acting up. Really pay attention to that because your soul is trying to get your attention. That person might not have the right intentions for you. I know Jenny, but he's so hot or she's just absolutely gorgeous. I understand that attraction. I get it. However, you have to look at reality as well. So take that time out because your intuition is going to really be strong that day for you. Showing you truth, showing you truth. Especially on the 12th when Mars enters Scorpio, huge transformation, death 
and rebirth. You're going to be very passionate. You could be like, yeah, I'm following my passions right now. You could be speaking more love language that day. When you follow what you're passionate about and pursue what you're passionate about, you're opening up new doors with opportunities for your soul's destiny and your soul's purpose. So really pay attention to that. And it's also another master number day as well. Like, holy smokes, right? Really pay attention. You're going to be shifting forward in quantum leaps with this lunar eclipse energy, with this eclipse energy. When you surrender, surrender, stop forcing and trying to like boom, 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 make things happen. Go with the flow, work towards your goals, work towards your dreams. That's really, really important because this new moon also in Libra, by the way, You're going to feel it. You're going to want balance that day. And you're going to be like, okay, what's not working for you? I'm jumping off the ship now. I'm ending that situation. I got to have balance for me. It could be a day you want to spend alone. It could be a day where you're like, you know, I don't want to be out and about meeting people. You know, be really careful of surgeries that day. Really pay attention to your animals that day. There's, there's a lot of deaths during that day. Um, as well during new moons, it's a very sensitive time. It's more powerful, especially with the energy of with this eclipse as well. So really, really work with it, you guys. Really work with it because it's going to work with you. So let me pull a couple of cards to see what the energy of the universe has to say. Now, I don't use cards whenever a client books a reading with me because I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium i don't use cards i'll read into your past life akashic records as well and let you know why these people are in your life what's happening how to resolve these issues karmically it's a big procedure because we still are healing and working through a lot of things right now and this is why this eclipse is going to show you and give you that emotional release right when you surrender reflecting back to october 2005 what was going on for you so let us pull a card and find out what the spirit world. Now, make sure, by the way, you guys, that whenever you're using cards, that you clear them before you use them. Bang them three times on wood to clear the energy. If it's a wooden desk, if it's wooden cupboards, a wooden floor, like whatever it is, that clears your energy or whoever utilized them last before you. Okay, so what's the energy from the spirit world from the 3rd of October to the 13th? What's the energy from the spirit world? What's the, right away? Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmental. Look at that. Look at that. Now, when we treat Mother Earth with respect, Mother Earth will treat us back with respect. And because... We have not been treating Mother Earth with respect. This is why it's talking to you, right? Without going into lots of details why it's had enough. You know, even if you're walking about and there's garbage on the street, maybe pick it up and throw it in the trash can. Little things like that and respect Mother Earth and its energy. Like really look at that. Some of you might be away. There's mountains in the background as well. Some of you might be like, you know, I need to go on that nature walk. I need to really get in touch with the earth. When you're walking on the earth and planting your bare foot in the earth, you can ground yourself immediately. That's one of the quickest ways to get grounded. I mean, there's many ways to get grounded, of course. However, because that card came up with earth, I wanted to talk about it. I allow the universal spirit to talk to me in its own unique ways. So let us ask a question again from the spirit world. What is the message cosmically from the third to the 13th? Universal cosmic message from the third to the 13th. And whole self health fell down. Natural therapies, balance, and Ayurvedic medicines. So, you know, how I've been talking about how, you know, some of you guys have been getting really drawn into more like, plant medicines or changing your diet or going through like more natural eastern medicines if it's acupuncture you know like different healing modalities you have to gravitate with what you're connected with i mean i have many stories many stories myself 
So you might find that, you know, I used to eat meat, now I don't anymore. Or you might find that, you know, I don't want to have those carbs anymore. Or maybe you need carbs. So especially during this new moon energy time, especially during this eclipse, like I'm saying, you're going to be shown what's out of alignment. Maybe you guys are going to be making some changes with your diet. Right? Pay attention to that. Really pay attention to that and see how this man here has like fruits and vegetables in the back, right? That's really healthy eating. Maybe you need to add in some fruits. Maybe you need to add in some vegetables and such like that. So really pay attention to what you're drawn to. Really pay attention because that day you're going to feel that your digestive system could be a little bit off, right? So you're going to be like, wow, my stomach on the 6th and the 7th, wow, you know, I don't know, if, am I not like, hmm, I don't know, all of those, hmm, I don't know, really pay attention, you guys, so now, you know, I'm an animal communicator, so I get messages literally 24-7 from the animals of all walks of life, I just call all animals, if it's a whale, if it's a dog, if it's an ant, whatever, I just call them all animals, they're all animals, so we all get affected by their messages if you tune into them. And when I'm away, I can't bring my little Bella girl with me, unfortunately, because she needs medical. She has many, many medical issues. She's on medications. I have to leave her in a facility where there's vets there when I'm away. So... Anyways, what is the message from the animal kingdom from the 3rd to the 13th? The message from the animal kingdom from the 3rd to the 13th? The message from the 3rd to the 13th? From our animals. The message from the 3rd to the 13th from our animals. What's the cosmic message from our animal kingdom? Animal kingdom, what's our cosmic message? Cosmic message. The rat. So some of you who are the rat, right? We all have our Chinese zodiac. I'm a fire horse, myself personally, right? Leo. So I have double the fire, double the passion. Good luck, you guys. <laughs> so some of you who have the rat energy, some people have pets as the rat too, right? Rats are very sacred over in India. Um, so the rat stands for be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. When you're being authentic, you're going to come across that things are coming into alignment for you, especially with new opportunities. When you're trying to be somebody you're not, it's not going to work for you at all. You can start it and start creating it, and you're going to be like, hey, why didn't this work for me? Because you're not following your soul's passion. You're not following your truth. You're trying to be somebody who you're not. That's not going to work for you. If you want to be somebody who you're not, Go be an actor or an actress. You can read a script and play a role. Why would you want to play a role and be somebody who you're not? Seriously, when 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 you have all these gifts and abilities and talents, we all do. Why would you try to be somebody else? Just saying. So now the archangels that are working with this energy is Archangels Gabriel and Zadkiel. Be your true self and the universe will reward you. I wanted to repeat that again. Look at this little rat. Look at the little cosmic energy. Do, do any of you guys have a pet as rats? <laughs> Some people are like, oh my God, they're such filthy animals and such like that. I get that. I understand. I understand. I understand. You all view things and you have to always do what works for you that you resonate with, right? That's because you're being authentic. When you try living your life, for how others expect you to live your life, it's not going to work. You're going to be not happy. I mean, I'm me. It's like, this is me. Take it or leave it. You don't like me? Walk the other direction. It's not going to offend me at all. Not right? Be true to you. It's very important. True to you. So what's the cosmic message from the universe, the third to the 13th? What's the cosmic message? Especially with this eclipse, you guys. Oh, my gosh. What's the cosmic message from the third to the 13th? 3rd to the 13th of October. 3rd to the 13th. It's a cosmic message. Freedom. Look at this. This is so beautiful. When you're being authentic, 
when you're walking in your path that resonates with you, you're going to be authentic. You're going to be true to you and you're going to feel freedom. You want to shut this, see how the gates opened for this person to walk through it. They're like, wow, look how beautiful it's out here. I'm walking my path. If you want to be somebody who you're not, see this gate, it's going to close. You're going to feel restricted. You're not going to feel happy. You're going to feel bounded. That's why whenever you meet someone, if you're interested in starting a relationship, be yourself. I know, but Jenny, that they don't like this type of food, let's say. But I told them I really like this food. Why would you do that? How are you guys going to get to know each other if you're not being honest and authentic? That's how you get to know each other. Yeah, but he might not like me, Jenny, or she might not like me if I walk this off. Who cares? If that person doesn't, ex you know, like accept you unconditionally, why are you with them? Reflect on this. This is why this eclipse season is going to show you even more what's not working for you. What's out of alignment. If you don't work with the energy of the eclipse, it's going to come down on you really hard. And I mean hard sudden expect the unexpected during the eclipse season as well you guys because if you're not working through these changes nobody wants painful lessons nobody wants to make painful decisions we all don't want that however there's certain changes we have to do and work through so what is the message here from our crystals? The final message from our crystals. Make sure on the new moon, you guys, you put your crystals out to re and rejuvenize them, re-energize them. What's the message from the crystal world? The land of the crystals. Rose quartz. Now, this is actually a very fitting crystal. Um, I don't. I do have rose quartz, but I don't have any around me right now to show you. Yes, I do. The little, little piece, but I have bigger pieces. This is rose quartz. It's it's like pinkish white. Probably can't really see that, the color of it, but it's like a pinkish um, white. And, and rose quartz, too, will help you love yourself more. You know how it's like, Jenny, how do I learn how to love myself more? You know, there's many ways, but even a rose quartz crystal that you can hold on to or wear it as jewelry you know, wear it in your pocket, a medicine bag. I mean, I love jewelry myself because I have to have this energy of the crystals touching my body. That That's just myself, but you go on what resonates with you, what works with you, right? Uh, so the beautiful energy of the rose crystals will help you open up your heart if you need to, um, you know, and especially whenever you're ending a situation, let's say, do it with an open heart. Speak your truth always. When you're speaking your truth in honesty and integrity, you will see, even though it can be painful to have endings, let's say, that you'll have more of a peace of mind. The only thing you have any control over in this whole entire planet is yourself. You can't control anything with anything else at all. The only thing that's constant in life is change. This eclipse is bringing change. I mean, where I'm at, we're in the autumn, my favorite time of the year. Take a look at the leaves, how beautiful they are, how they're changing colors. It shows you that winter is coming and there's change coming with seasons. Even if you're in, you know, moving into the springtime, you're starting to see you know, the grass coming out, you know, you might start seeing flowers emerging and, and, you know, all of that as well. So now I want you guys to let me know what's going on. Like, how are you guys working with this energy of the eclipse? How are you preparing for it? And make sure you tune into my podcast, Soul to Soul Connections with Jenny G. It's also here on YouTube. So I'm on a lot of different platforms. You will find me and see the interviews. And if you want to book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. So I'm wishing you all a beautiful, beautiful eclipse. And I will talk to you all soon at another location. Follow me on Instagram.
If you'd like to see my photography, Jenny G Photography. I'm on Facebook. You'll have to look me up. I'm out there. Namaste, you guys.